Uh, first of all, BYU outplayed us. They deserved to win. They did. Um, so, you know, congratulations to them. Um, other than that, just, you can ask all the questions you want to say. We got outplayed, and uh, we're going to come back fighting. We got some opportunities to do some things as a football team, and we're going to learn from it, and away we go. So, I'll take your questions. Like you, have some, you had some sort of momentum at the end of the first half. You scored that touchdown. In the second half, they all went away. Was there anything that you could point to why that happened? Turnovers, bad tackling. But over these last two games, you've had some less than stellar defensive performances, a lot of rushing yards against Air Force, a lot of passing yards tonight. Is there, like, what's kind of going on with the defense these last couple of weeks? It's a good question. Um, you know, we. Uh, Air Force is a little bit of its own animal. Um, did not play well, and tonight we had our opportunities to to play well. We had our opportunities to get out of numerous third third downs, um, and I just say it again, you know, tackling. So that's and that's that's on us coaches. We need to teach them to tackle better. Obviously, we need to focus on it on practice, I suppose, and whatever it may be. But you know, there will be they'll be a prideful group, and they'll have to bounce back and. Um, See what they can be able to get done. You know, it was. Uh, you know, we, Woody, Woody's a big part of that defense. It wasn't good to have him out there today. So wish he would have been there. But uh, he could have made a bit of a difference. But he's not going to go win the football game for us either. So the defensive guys got a young young players got to step up and make plays. Oh, I don't think a play like that's going to do anything with the emotions of the kids. Um, you know, they called it down, and, and honestly, to me, it seemed like the play was dead for a while, and then all of a sudden he bounced back out of there. So I didn't have a really good look at it, whether, it, whether so I don't know if I, I can't really say if I thought he was or he wasn't, but uh, obviously um, they called him down. But I don't think that had anything to do with the momentum or the juice of the team or anything. I thought the kids were ready to play and excited. When did you know you were going to have uh, we've known we've known for a time. It wasn't a surprise, so we we were pra we practiced and prepared for it. Well, you know, if, if you look at it as a whole, I guess more so than Jordan, I'll sit back and I'll look at the uh, you know the whole offenses we. Had some mojo at times tonight, which was good to see. You know, we got some things going. We got the ball moving. Um, you know, we got to finish drives and we can't turn it over. And that's uh, obviously with the, the amount of yards that we had. We've got yards out there. We did some good things in that area. 521 yards around 82 plays. So you saw a significant improvement from the last couple of weeks, I would say, on offense. Um, but you didn't see us, you know, finish drives because of a turnover or, you know, a big sack or some situations. When we get back, and we understand our deficiencies, and we continually understand our deficiencies, then I believe we can be an offense that moves the football. You know, um, and that's a big part of it. Is that like a, like a schematic thing or like a mental thing? Oh, I don't think it has anything to do with the, uh, well, football, mental part of football is every snap, right? So there's always a mental, there's always a mental piece to that. Um, but as I sit back and I say it's uh, the the, the scheme is obviously to move forward as you go through the year to make sure that you're not uh, trying to do things that you can't be good at or not good at. And I, I thought the staff did a pretty good job of giving ourselves a chance um, today to be able to be successful offensively, but we have to be able to finish drives. You good? Okay. Thanks, guys. Go Aggies. Really, the game was just uh, it's just a uh, just the execution. We just had to, you know, had to come out, and, you know, do it and like just do what we had to do. Um, and I know tonight didn't come out how we wanted to, but you know things could change by next week. So I'm just I'm just I mean the game's over now, so we just got to move on from here. You came in playing wide receiver and then you transitioned to being cornerback. What's that kind of like week to week process? Um, 
really, I don't, I don't see it as a, I don't see it as anything different. You know, um, I played cornerback in high school, so I mean, it's, it's nothing different to me. Did you enjoy playing cornerback? Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Not more than wide receiver though, but I like cornerback though. So looking at the last two weeks, you guys have had kind of two bad defensive performances in two different ways. Air Force, you have a ton of rushing yards, and this week you have a lot of passing yards. What's kind of been the main factor in those two games where you've had some pretty poor defensive? Uh, um, well, I'll say that uh, it's just the execution. You know, all all our guys are all our guys play at their high abilities, but we just need to execute more. Was that the problem with the second half? Because I know in the first half, even though you guys didn't play great, you were still in that game, and then it kind of got away from you in the second half. Was that just not executing? Yeah, it was just just the execution. But I know, Coach, something was mentioned is tackling. That's something you guys try and work on each week. It's shown up in previous weeks, but this game, I thought like it was kind of more of a factor than previous weeks. Is that something you guys ready to work on? Uh, yeah, we work on tackling a lot. Um, probably work on it probably every day. Every day tackling, scout tackling, uh, you know, just any type of tackle we can do, live, football, just, you know, anything. So I can only assume this is the BYU that's celebrating right now. How does it feel for you guys as a team to, to hear this in your home stadium? Um, I mean, we not we not gonna take it lightly, you know. We gonna we gonna be we gonna be we gonna be pissed about it, but you know we gotta move on. You know we can't we can't hang our head on this one. There's more games out there. How do you put a game like this behind you, especially when you have a game next week? Um, you know, you gotta have a short memory, so you can't can't hold yourself from this game to the next game. You have to you know you gotta let it go. Get your mind right for the next one. Um, obviously, we didn't get the outcome we wanted today against the, our biggest rival, you know. Um, but I feel like games like this, it helps us create a stepping stone for our offense, for our team, and then we'll just build off of what happened tonight. Yeah, offensively, it seemed like on a couple of tries, you were able to find the rhythm, and you know, you're able to put points on the board. Um, is there anything offensively you guys hear like you clicked a little bit? You know, I feel like with that, we just trusted the system a lot more. This, this, um, when we did uh, go out there and execute, we, you know, uh, we, Coach Sanford told Jordan, you know, when you see that open hole in the zone, hit it. Don't hesitate. You know, hesitation for this offense kills us. We're a pace team. We can't have no type of hesitation. Obviously, we're also a momentum team as well, so we can't have any missed assignments. We can't have any penalties, any turnovers, because that's gonna, that's gonna be a bad sign for this offense. You know, it's very frustrating, but like you said, we have to fight through it. We have to find our our sweet spot in this offense, and that's if that's playing pitch and catch and, and, and blocking up front and running through stuff and making extra great plays, then that's what we have to do. If we have to step out of our comfort zone and make those great plays, then that's what we have to do as an offense. We can't be, like I said, hesitant anymore. We have to be willing to make plays for this team in order to get what we want to process. So we had, I'm, I'm not too sure, but I could tell that we had three turnovers that cost us 21 points for the BYU. And that's huge. You know, when we, get, when we give BYU or the, or, or the opposing team a free 21 points, that's, that's very detrimental to this team and to the offense because that's a momentum killer as well. You know, we get down there, we make a big play, we get down in the red zone and don't execute. That's, the defense has to go back on the field and they're, Probably tired, and we need to give them a break. So it's time for the offense to finally step up, and you know, defense are playing their butts off. I commend them for that. And like I said, offense is a, we're gonna, we're gonna get right. So. Jordan Love is taking a lot of heat for from a, a lot of different people for the offense struggling a little bit in the past few weeks. What can you say about Jordan Love? Jordan Love is, I wouldn't trade him for any quarterback in the nation. He he does what he's supposed to do. You know, often the majority of the time, uh, people looking in don't know what it really is. You know, sometimes we have receivers, you know, messing up on plays, which causes inmates, which may cause a turnover. Um, 
maybe some penetration within the line and he gets a little anxious and nervous and then you know he call, he, he he causes a bad pass but I don't we don't put the blame all on Jordan Love it's everybody we're all a team it starts from the coaches and it ends to the players and that's how that's how it is you know Jordan Love's fantastic he I, like I said I want to trade him for no quarterback in this nation